get into a routine from this point on. Get the guys thinking that way a little bit. But it, was, it was okay. I think we got some things done. Has it been difficult to treat, to treat a Friday as a Tuesday? Uh, yeah. I, th I think I'm getting better. I don't know about everybody else, but uh, I struggled the first couple of days here. Yeah, you know, just uh, part of it because we're playing on a Tuesday, and then the other part, the, the lateness of the uh, calendar date, you know, is a little bit unusual too. But I think we're all, we're all getting there. Is Stansy good to go, and will he start? Yeah, plan on starting him, and uh, you know, right now nobody's been ruled out, so hopefully we'll have everybody out there. How about Dace? How's he looking? How's his he's, recovery? He's making progress, and uh, every day's been important for him. Uh, he started working, oh, you know, uh, real aggressively probably about eight, ten days ago, somewhere in that ballpark. So he's, he's, I wouldn't say he's full speed right now, and he's sore, but he, he's working, and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll get to play some. Would you say there's a mutual respect between the way that they feel about Iowa's defense and your offense feels about, or excuse me, your defense feels about their offense? Yeah, I don't know how they feel about us, but I know how we feel about them. Uh, you know, first of all, their whole football team, they, they uh, certainly earned uh, their championship. And, and, you know, any any team that wins a championship and they had to play a championship game, you know, they won their division then played a championship game, uh, you know, they do things right. They, they do a great, great job, and they've done it in two years now, you know, 20 wins in two years, so that's impressive as well. Uh, they're, they're very talented. They're very well coached and uh, really play and execute very well in the field. And yeah, Their offense is certainly, uh, you know, they've got three marquee players there, but their entire team really executes well, and they, they put a lot of pressure on you a lot of different ways. Did you watch Navy play yesterday at all? Did you see any I, I, I saw four or five snaps. Some of the guys were talking about on the bus, but uh, no, I didn't see much of it. But, you know, it's uh, obviously – Part of the family tree, and uh, they're just—it's a tough, tough offense to defend. You guys, you've done a couple of bowl trips now, where you feel like you've had your, your schedule set and, and established. How are you guys coming along on where you'd like to be running up to a bowl? I'm only laughing because I can barely remember last year. I can kind of, but uh, um, I don't remember the game. But the, you know, th this is that time where just you know you're kind of—it uh, seems like we've been doing this a long time. It's probably because we have been, uh, but that—that's—that's that's natural. And uh, I, I really think the trick and bowls is more of a mental approach than it is uh, necessarily how many minutes you practice, that type of thing. But yeah, we spent a lot of time thinking about that too. But, but I think our guys are focused on the game. I think they've uh, done a good job of enjoying Miami, which we, we really encouraged them to do. And the, I can't say enough about the bowl. Uh, people associate the, you know, the bowl committee, everybody associate the Orange Bowl. They have been fantastic, just have gone above and beyond. So, Everything's been very, very positive, and I think our players are, are doing a good job taking care of what they need to looking, so far. Looking back on the season, what's been the most memorable moment for this team? Oh, it, you know, it, it's really hard, and I think probably the couple of Kodak uh, snapshots. You know, we've had, obviously, a lot of exciting games, you know, a lot of close games, and, and uh, the thing that jumped out at me, a lot of different players made a lot of different big contributions, you know, came up with the big play that sparked us. Um, you know, last year we were more of a Sean Green oriented team and he, Sean kind of emerged as our marquee player. Uh, this year, I, I don't know if we have a quote unquote marquee player, but you know, we've got a lot of guys that are good football players that play well together and, uh, you know, they've come up with big plays at different times. You know, the, the Sash play in the Indiana game, you know, there's a couple guys involved with that and certainly uh, Adrian Claiborne's uh, punt block and return in, in Penn State. So some things like that that really, you know, really gave us uh, some real spark this year. Sash played the Indiana game. How did that happen? How many times have you seen that? And, uh, I just saw it this morning, coincidentally. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, like the two field goal blocks. You know, we'll probably never see that again. So, but you know, when you have a good season, you need some moments like that. And uh, you know, guys hustling around, the ball came to him, and boom, he just took off. So, uh, it's one of those deals. But you know, we certainly needed it at that time, mm -hmm. and uh, things weren't looking good. And, uh, you know, we've had some moments like that, so it's been that's what it takes to have a good season. How's the work going with some of the developmental guys, the young guys? That you guys I, th I think good. Yeah, I think we're making a lot of progress, and uh, gives us a good chance to look at them, which is a nice sidebar on a, on a bowl trip. And uh, it's a nice it's a nice thing about playing later like this. You know, it gives us a few more opportunities to uh, work those guys. You know, before the game's getting close. So it's been it's been good. And uh, yeah, I'll be curious to see how things keep going here and what, where we're at in the spring. Have you allowed yourself to think about the future with your running back position at all? Uh, not, not other than, you know, I walked out with Jewel today, and uh, it, it'll be good to, to have him return. Um, you know, but it's we, we've never had too many good players at any one position here, so that's a, 
I hope it becomes a problem, but I don't know if that it will be. <laughs> the hospital visit tomorrow, how important are things like that to on a trip like this? Well, you know, we, we do a lot of that stuff on our campus. Uh, one, one thing that we're really fortunate, uh, we've got the largest teaching hospital in the country. We've got a great children's hospital. One of the, it's a top 20 children's hospital right there too. So our players have a lot of opportunity during the season and out of season to, to do things uh, involved in the hospital. And uh, this will be uh, kind of like being at home, I guess, in some ways. But uh, I think, you know, everybody in the hospital tells us what, what a nice thing it is for the patients. And uh, I would just argue or suggest that it's, it's a better thing for, uh, for our players to go over and have a chance just to realize how lucky they are. And uh, yeah, I think that's usually the, the effect that it has on our players. How much did you counsel Adrian on his decision to come back? Not, not in a lot, you know, about as much as the other guys. And, uh, you know, he just, um, you know, it's, it's an individual, personal decision for everybody. And uh, certainly we're thrilled with it. You know, cause I think Adrian's, I know he's going to be one of our best leaders next year. He, you know, he's already voted a captain as a junior, and that, that speaks volumes. That's the players voting, not the coaches. And, um, you know, he's, I think, going to be one of the finer defensive linemen in the country, which is exciting, too. I mean, he was one of the better ones this year, but to me, he'll be right up there in the upper echelon now. He said today that he still feels kind of like kind of a work in progress because he really hasn't been playing football that long. Yeah. Do you, do you see that as well? Do you see that most, most players are. Yeah, most players are works in progress, well, and most college most players. Yeah, well, not necessarily. I mean, it's, it's pretty good work if, if he's a work in progress. Uh, but I understand what he's saying. But that, that's the attitude I think every player should have. Uh, you know, he was a tight end linebacker in high school. Uh, there was a guy years ago, Bruce Clark, uh, from Newcastle, Pennsylvania, that went to Penn State, uh, ended up playing defensive line. He played inside uh, for Penn State and was a, uh, you know, all pro down, I guess, in New Orleans. Uh, kind of, kind of the same kind of deal. Uh, Adrian was a big linebacker, tight end. He, he really took to the position move uh, very quickly and very well, and uh, you know, he's done a great job at it. So, uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, we've seen him improve with each phase, and that's exciting because we think, you know, his best football still ahead. I agree with him there. I'm sure you've encountered a lot of guys that have overcome adversity, you know, when they were younger, like he has. Is his story one of the best stories you've heard? Oh, uh, yeah, we've had a lot of good stories, and his is certainly one of them. And uh, uh, that's, you know, it's kind of life right now. You know, I tell you, there are a lot of things that happen. Uh, you know, when, when you deal with the population like we do, 120 players, 115 players on the team, yeah, you get a lot of stories. And uh, yeah, I just I have respect for every guy on our football team. Maybe it will stay with this, uh, this endeavor, graduate college. You know, because that's not easy. Play play big time football. That's not easy. Uh, and, and be good assist, good citizens. You know, those are all big big accomplishments. And I know Adrian's family is extremely proud of him. His mom got in town yesterday. I think it was. I saw her in, saw her in the lobby. Uh, Amari and and Brian have they made decisions yet? That's my knowledge. If they have, I don't know. So we'll find <laughs> out. Smile, I don't know. <laughs> you, yeah, your guess is about as good as mine right now. Have you paid any attention to the Urban Meyer stuff? What's been going on in this? Not, not, not real closely. All? I mean, you know, I know there was a, uh, uh, you know, development Saturday, I guess, and I know there was a turn of events on Sunday. So, yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, not to minimize it, but uh, you know, Dick Vermeil, there are a lot. This historically, Joe Gibbs, Dick Vermeil, guys that have uh, walked away and come back or not come back. Um, that. Yeah, I would also say this, and you guys heard me say this before. You know, we, we work long hours, we're under stress. But, you know, I look at farmers, you know, they got stress in their life too. You know, if it doesn't rain, you can't do anything about that. And if it rains too much, you can't stop that. So, uh, well, uh, you know, I, I, I want him to be well. Don't get me wrong, I'm not minimizing that. But, uh, you know, what we do is it's not like we're heroes or anything like that. I mean, you know, there are a lot of people that work hard in our country, a lot of people under stress and, uh, you know, putting kids through college uh, and working two jobs. That's stressful, you know, and that's tough. So, um, yeah, what we do, you know, our, I guess the difference with us is what we do is out there. You know, everybody has opinions about uh, about our what our production is or isn't. But, you know, it's a little bit more public than maybe being a farmer. But there's a lot of jobs that are tough. I know that. I figured that out a long time ago.